be scared to use your feet. Do you see yourself in the camera? I think you do. Who is that? That's you. Oh, you're so cute. I thought I'd just do an update on my little black, my little black and white lamb. We've had quite the last, I guess it's only been a week since it's been born, a week. It was born a week yesterday. It was born with really deformed front legs. So, you can see how his front legs are a little bit splayed and a lot bent at its joint. So I'm going, to, I'm going to splint them and then, I don't know, see where we go from there. I'm just giving it a little drink first. So this is what we're working with. Not good. Not good at all. Like, nothing. Not good. So I'm going to try and splint them a little straighter. But when I do that, I did it, I took them off yesterday, but when I do that, she falls over or out. So I might even try. Hi, hi. Oh goodness. <laughs> what are you doing? You ready? Hey. I'm not your mom. Let's take these old ones off, because they're yucky. Try that. Let's try that. What do you think? Can you walk? So everybody's telling me that I should make a brace across, and I'm not really sure how to do that. What if we cut this and make this the brace? Hmm. Okay, she looks like she's wearing diapers. What I did looks a little crazy. I'm gonna have to assist this lamb for quite a few days. I put a little piece of piping in between her legs to kind of brace them together because she's splaying. So I've tried lots of stuff. I've tried like twine, <laughs> get in camera. I've tried like twine and duct tape, but she trips. So I think what I'm gonna do is do this and I'll help her drink for a few days and hopefully we can strengthen everything up. Ready? Are you hungry? Are you happy with me? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Is that nice? Backwards figured out, but these front legs just do not want to. We just don't want to. 
I don't know if she's got pinched nerves or there's something going on with her spine. But she just, she just doesn't want to make, make the crawling motion. So this is just all I do and I'm also kind of trying to really get her tendons moving. And I've just been doing this like twice a day. I don't know if it's gonna do anything. I've never had this before with a lamb. I've always had like kind of the lock tendons. And as soon as I do this, um, I've actually done a video on it not too long ago. Usually when I do that, they heal. And this one is just, she just, it's kind of in here and in her knees. So it's a bit frustrating. The good news is she, um, for the first three or four days, she couldn't even get up at all. Uh, mom, her mom was a really good you, but the problem was she couldn't get up to drink. So I had to pull her off and put her on the machine. And the mom was also one of those moms that really paw hard at the lamb. And it was just, I was afraid she was gonna injure her ribs or her legs, her good legs. So um, I did pull her off and she's been doing really good eating wise. She just, she can't walk. For the last like three days, she's been able to get up and down on her own, which I think is progress. I know it's not, she's far from being right. Um, but the fact she can get up and down on her own means she can get to the nipple on her own, which means I don't have to stand and help her nurse all the time, which is really good. I don't know, she's got the will. Quite likely, um, if, the, if the legs don't heal, I'll just keep her around and think of ways to get her moving. She's so freaking cute. Okay, it's time to walk. to use your feet. Do you see yourself in the camera? I think you do. Who is that? That's you. Oh, you're so cute. I don't know you guys. We'll keep trying. Want some? I can't even believe I did this, but I went on Amazon and bought this. How do I install it? Oh my god. Triggered. Oh my god, a leash. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, it's like Ikea. Oh, wonderful. Okay, I have to measure my lamb. Your pet's back height and width hip. Okay, let's do that. 37. So down here. About, I would say about 12. Mm -hmm. Do you want a drink? 
Mm. Oh, do you want a drink? Are you thirsty? Nah. Okay, let's get you a drink. Let's get you fed. Okay. I think it's too small after all that. But we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Aw, oh, darn it. Fail. I'm gonna make this wider. Let's see if this works. You're just too big. If I could like if I could get you strapped right there and have it so your little leggies can actually work. Mm -hmm. You're not losing your legs though, because it's too small. Not gonna work, is it? <laughs> Have a look at these legs. Looking straighter? This one looks better. I don't know about this one. This one looks messed though. But that one might come. This one might come, I think. I don't know about you. I just don't think my trick's gonna work. We're putting weight on this one, but it's the crooked one. You need those casts just to walk. We are going to put them back on just for some support. I'm out of vet wrap, so we're going to use duct tape. Ah. Where are we going? Are we gonna go see the doctor? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just to orient you, this is her on her side with her head facing that way. Okay. And so the leg that's in the most focus is the one on the bottom. Right. So if she's facing this way, that would be her left leg okay. down. So first looking at her leg, left leg down, you can see that the toe is very normal. This joint is normal as well. So when we tell that the joints are normal, you want to see rounded edges and then the space in between. Okay. And then same thing all the way up here. This joint as well looks good. And this is the one that can move more. Okay, so that, so makes, that makes sense. sense. Um, and then that's just normal as the bones continue to grow. Okay. They're not completely connected there and that's fine. And should that be curved? Yeah, so this okay. is where the issue is. Okay. So you can see here um, that this bone has a curve to it and it right. should be a lot straighter right um, and we can see it in this one as well right. and when we go that actually this. makes sense with her movement that's why she always falls forward yeah exactly and then this is her facing which I retake the line again on her left side oh yeah so this is facing the opposite direction right. Um, so this is the other foot down, okay. and you can see a very yeah. similar sort of pattern. Not as pronounced though. This, this one is one a little really bit bad. more extreme. Yeah. And then this one is the one where the it doesn't move as well. And can you see how this tissue here, see how it's a little whiter yes. there than here? That's Cal just from, calcified? Or? Well, it's more just probably inflammation. Okay. Right? Just okay. from the... Because she's been... Yeah. Just from the cast and right. not bending it and that sort of thing. And that not happens it. pretty commonly. Yeah. Uh, wrong direction. Okay, so then this one is trying to go from above. This one she moved her head, so I took okay. the better one. Yeah, this is a little better. 
So here you can really see the bend in this one as well, oh, yeah. right? So you can see it from above. Obviously yeah. there's some overlay with your ear there, that's, that's not it. Yeah. So then this joint doesn't line up properly. Okay. That makes there. sense. Um, and then this is Ooh. it straight from above. Okay. So you can see this should be here, and okay. it's because that bone has too much bend to it right. and then we're not she's actually getting some probably some rubbing is going to start there so see how all of these joint spaces you could trace them yep. in black that there's spaces and there you can it's not as much it could be just also the angle obviously right, it's not right. going to be completely straight but i think that's where our issue is going to okay. be um and then this is the view on her back actually okay. so this is on her back with her legs straightened out and you can see here this joint is completely not lined up Okay. This all, is yeah. normal for that to be uh, like that in the shoulder. That's right. that's normal. Okay. It's this area here that's okay. abnormal. And you can see the highest area of inflammation is around there too. Yep. See how this tissue over here you can barely see, but here the inflammation is right. you can see it. So it does look like it's a gross a gross thing. thing. Well, that did not end the way I hoped it would. Uh, as the vet said, the the bone was so curved between the shoulder and the joint. And there was even some, quite a bit of inflammation on the joints, I think because she hasn't been using it. So she said, the problem is, after I shut off the camera, she said, the problem is as she gains weight, oh, I have to pull myself together. This is why I try not to get too attached because it's tough. As she grows and puts on weight, it's actually really cruel to keep her um, because it'll be too painful because that bone will never hold the weight. She's okay right now because she's so little, um, but as she grows, that bone is still bent and it's never gonna, it's never gonna fix. Just some really crappy luck. Uh, so at the vet clinic, I let her actually put the lamb down kind of like a dog yeah so not all stories and and as lovely as as they should so I will uh finish cleaning up all the mess that I left I honestly thought I'd be bringing her home so this could be a tough job <laughs> thanks for supporting me guys though you've been uh if you've been following me on Instagram you've been um really supportive so thank you Yeah. <laughs>